About 15,000 new species of animals are still discovered every year. That sounds hard to believe, right? We already have so many amazing creatures already. And what about the animals that have gone extinct? Since our planet was formed, the natural world is a lot for us to fully comprehend. And it doesn't show any signs of slowing down if these next videos are any indicator. That's life on Earth, right? So if new unknown animals are your thing, you've come to the right place. 15 Strangest Creatures Recently Discovered Australian Alien As of late, there's been plenty of news about aliens visiting our world. Former military men have come forward to reveal that they've been UFOs sighted throughout history. Of course, there's still plenty of debate on whether or not those accounts are real or just for clout. No one quite knows who's telling the truth, and this usually comes from the United States, but its next alien comes from Australia. So maybe there's going to be a little bit more validity there. Let's take a look. What we're looking at is a creepy alien-like creature that has flabby limbs. But that's not all. It also has claws. It washed up on a beach in Australia. When you look at it, you'll notice that it has a strange reptilian-like skull. In addition to the claws, it also has a long tail. But it might not be so mysterious because some social media users believe that it might be a joey kangaroo or maybe even a wallaby. This is because of its size. If that's the case, this is pretty sad to see. We'd like to think that it's a mysterious creature that has no origin. Fasten your seatbelts because it's time for today's sweet topic. When they saw this strange creature, they decided to act immediately by going in the other direction as quickly as possible. By the looks of it, this bike rider has come in contact with some mystery animal that looks strangely humanoid with the incredible ability to move fast on all fours. But we can't help but notice that long tail and bluish skin too. The definition of a humanoid mythical creature is as follows. A creature that resembles a human being either in appearance or by character. This includes creatures who can transform themselves from animals to humans or vice versa. Many of these hybrids with either one part human to one part or several parts human. So what do you think this could be? Some say it's a humanoid mythical creature from the Philippines that's characterized as a tree dweller but with distinctly human traits. They're believed to befriend people out of love and then follow that person throughout their life. So maybe this biker has made an unusual new friend. On the other hand, they're also said to pull pranks and disorient travelers. So we wish this bicyclist good luck. What would you do if you ever found yourself in this situation? Use the hashtag Sweet Topic and share your thoughts in the comments below. Morpha Monster Everyone loves aliens. Well, maybe not everyone. There are still plenty of people who debate their existence altogether. And that's okay. The fun part about all those monsters is that this debate is always a good thing. Next to aliens, people also love to talk about sea monsters. Sea monsters have captivated people for years, maybe even centuries. Then it's always been a story about a giant sea monster popping up from the shore and unfortunately, no one's ever found concrete proof of their existence. But maybe that's all changed with the Morpha monster. It sounds like something out of the Power Rangers, but it's all too real. This monster appears in the final second of a holiday video clip where you see a mysterious creature on a black rock sound popping up to a wave of a little boy. It takes place in Gwinnett Beach. That's not much to go off of when it comes to this footage, but it's enough to make your mind wander. You can't see it when it's going full speed, but when the video is slowed down, you see little waving happen. Thanks to the technology, we didn't miss it, but given the spookiness of it all, we kind of wish that we did. Sink Creature So where do all of these writers get their ideas when it comes to creating monsters that scare us out of our seats? It's hard to believe that those things all come from the imagination and sometimes they don't. Sometimes there are practical reason why these horror writers come up with these monstrous ideas and you don't need to look too far for them. I'd say might even be in your home. Just ask this one woman who found a strange creature living in her bathroom sink. Now this sounds like one of those black and white horror movies that you would see back in the day. But for this unfortunate woman, it was her reality. Only enough when it comes to the situation in the sink was a chemistry professor who went to social media to ask her 1.1 million followers for help to identify the mysterious animal that she found crawling out of her sink in the bathroom. You can see it in the video that she walks in and discovers a little creature. Now because she lives near the Florida Everglades, the theories are endless. 
She just wishes that she could figure it out once and for all so she can either expect it or try to get rid of it. Here's hoping that she figures out that conundrum. <laughs> Ty Beach Crawler Did you spooky a little too much to know that there could be a creature lurking in your sink? May make you think twice about how hard you clean your house. But we can probably guarantee that there's not going to be a creature like the one that the woman found in your home. That seems like a pretty unfortunate isolated incident. Well, unfortunately, you can't help but worry about what else in the world. Because after all, you can't clean the entire world like you can clean a sink. Like, just I'm on the beach and then seeing something creepy crawling towards you? And imagine if that thing kind of looks like a monster. This was the case when one bizarre spiky creature was found crawling on the beach. It's far from a sink, found on a Thai beach. No one quite knows what this creature is. It doesn't match anything that we know of yet. There's crawling like a crab. Some people think it's part of the crab family just by the way it moves and by the speed of it. So far, no one's come forward with an answer and we're just going to have to speculate until someone does. In any case, it's a pretty cool creature to see. <laughs> Stranger Things Creature We've spoken a lot about how writers are the ones that create our perceptions when it comes to monsters. When we think of a monster, we'll probably think of one movie that we enjoy most. For example, if you're a fan of Alien vs Predator, when you think of a monster, you might think of one of those monsters. That's how you would envision them. Or if someone mentions a horror movie itself, you may think of your favorite horror movie and the character that it's in. Is it human nature to compare these types of things? Sometimes there's no need to compare because the thing that we're comparing is too far similar. That's where that next one on our list comes into play because this creature resembles the monster from Stranger Things. Yeah, we were surprised too. So far, when it comes to this creature, people agree that it must belong to some sort of cat family. And the authorities are saying that it came from the forest. All the other people are comparing it to Stranger Things. They found it in a hardware store in the district of Bihar. That's a state in eastern India. When word got out, many of the locals came by to see it. But so far, no one's figured out what it is. What happened was that the animal entered the shop late one night. And that's when things started to pop off. The truth in the matter is that the explanation for it might just be that it's a large civet. This is a nocturnal mammal that's native to Africa and Asia. So it's not an alien or anything like that, but it's an interesting animal to see. We definitely won't be seeing these cross our streets anytime soon. Unless, of course, you live in Africa or Asia. Pale Humanoid In a lot of horror movies or movies that have monsters in them, there tends to be a lot of foreshadowing. We're introduced to the monster slowly and in ways that are ordinary in real life but can take on a sinister feel when they're utilized in the films. If you were to see the security camera footage in real life, there's nothing spooky about it. But once it's in a movie, if you see it online, it can once again take on that sinister feel. You never quite know what you're going to get when it comes to these types of cameras. And this is the case when it comes to this pale humanoid that no one quite knows what it is. Let's just say it's pretty creepy. Let's take a look and you can let us know what you think in the comments. In the 33 second video, you see a pale, human-like figure. It looks pretty lanky and when it walks, it's kind of hunched over. Now it's spotted in the garden of a home which spooked the homeowners. So far, no one's come up with what it could be, but paranormal enthusiasts are having a field day. It's quite the spectacle and not something that you see all the time. This is an alien, we might be in trouble. <laughs> Antarctic sponges. We've all seen a cartoon where a giant elephant is afraid of a mouse. It's such a weird sight to see because the mouse is so small yet the elephant is gigantic. In our, in our minds, we shouldn't be afraid of such a small animal. But the truth of the matter is, it's sometimes the small monsters of the world that scare us the most. You don't necessarily need to be a giant to put fear into the giant themselves. Then something like a sponge can be scary when you're not expecting it to look that way. So, why do we mention sponges and monsters in the same light? Well, it's because scientists have uncovered a creature that kind of resembles a sponge. Just the sight of them alone can be a little spooky. So these Antarctic sponges weren't something that was supposed to be discovered. The scientists that discovered it did it by accident, and they found them under a half mile of ice. The research is only drilled through the Antarctic ice to sample some sediment. But instead, they found these weird looking creatures. They melted around 20 tons of snow and hey, that's no easy task, and we think that the payoff was grand, because look at what they found. The creatures look like they're perfect things to clean the ice with. 
We can guess that we probably won't be seeing these creatures in the sponge aisle, though. <laughs> Mystery Zoo Creature No one comes to creatures. It's funny how humans aren't afraid of the ones that we are familiar with. Yet there can be harmless ones in the world that we won't mind only because we are familiar with them. People aren't really afraid of elephants when they see them because we know what they are. But if you happen to see an elephant for the first time, you would consider it a mysterious creature for sure. Who doesn't love a mystery anyway? For this next one on our list, that's exactly what you're going to get because people have been talking about this one mysterious zoo creature that's been making the viral rounds as of late. It comes from Texas and we know that everything is bigger in Texas. This includes mysterious creatures. The city of Amarillo, Texas had asked for help regarding a crazy problem. They wanted to identify a strange human-like animal that had been outside a local zoo. The photo was shared on their social media and everyone had their own takes on what it could be. It looks like it's walking upright, but it definitely doesn't look like it's human. The black and white imagery on the security camera doesn't make it easy to tell what it is, but from the looks of it, it's definitely something sinister. What do you think it could be? Let us know in the comments below. <laughs> Wooly Rhino The fun part about finding creatures is that you never quite know what you're going to find. There's a whole world of the mysterious out there that's just waiting to be unearthed. To this very day, scientists still don't know everything that's out there. New species are being uncovered every day. And some of those species happen to be quite jarring when you look at them. You don't necessarily think you're going to come across something so crazy that it belongs in a book of fiction. But every now and then, there are discoveries that kind of make sense. The interesting part about them is that they don't always take place in the modern day. Sometimes scientists find creatures that flip the notion of our current creatures in the world on its head. That's how this next one comes into play. Scientists have discovered a woolly rhino. From the looks of it, it looks perfect for the Flintstones. Its tan fur looks like it could be alive today. That's how vibrant the thing is. Genetic analysis of the rhino shows that a warm climate probably killed it off around 14,000 years ago. Their numbers when they were alive were pretty constant until their extinction. They went extinct because the climate turned warm when they were only prepared to survive in the wintertime. It can be both an amazing and sad thing to see, and we may never really get to see these animals walk the earth ever again. <laughs> Elephant Hawk Moth Caterpillar If you enjoy the last one on our list, and you're definitely going to love this one, because it takes a few things that we already know in our modern day world and combines them all. Nature is a pretty incredible thing when it comes to creatures in this world. There are all sorts of creatures that make the world an exciting place to live in because it's filled with such unpredictability that you never quite know what you're going to stumble upon. Whether it's a creature that seems like it belongs in Dr. Seuss's world or a rhino that's mixed with dinosaurs, there's nothing that compares to this next one. It's the elephant hawk moth caterpillar. Didn't catch that the first time? Let us say it again. It's the elephant hawk moth caterpillar. We've given you a lot of names, but what this is is actually a medium-sized hawk moth. It can commonly be found in parks and gardens as well as woodland edges. You can see these caterpillars from July to September. Typically, they have grayish green or brown spots. When you disturb them, the most likely swell up to show these spots and scare off predators. It's understandable that they have such a funky name because after all, look at them. <laughs> Baby Ghost Shark Unlike years ago, children's programming was fairly limited. You had a few cartoons and maybe Mr. Rogers, but there wasn't much to put on the television to keep your child occupied or entertained. Nowadays, there are plenty of shows and even channels dedicated completely to children's entertainment. So why do we bring this up on the list of creatures? Because this next one makes us think about the show Baby Shark. Because we're about to tell you about a baby ghost shark. This is definitely not for your children to be watching but it'll definitely leave you with some goosebumps. And no, there's no catchy song for this one either. This is far different from the baby shark, but a little bit similar at the same time. These ghost sharks are one of the rarest and most elusive fish species in the world. The marine biologist who found this one was pretty ecstatic when they spotted it. The truth of the matter is no one really knows too much about these ghost sharks. They're a little creepy when you look at them, but extraordinary when you start researching them. You can find them around 4,000 feet below water and they're typically spotted near New Zealand. Sea Pig If you haven't realized by now, we like to bring up creatures that combine two different animals that you're not used to. It makes for an entertaining and informative list. 
We love to show you that the world is filled with different animals that may make you scratch your head a few times. Don't worry, we're not going to bring you any more woolly rhinos. This time, we're going to bring you something cute your way and something aquatic, because we're about to tell you about the sea pig. You heard us right, and we're not going to repeat it again. Okay, maybe one more time. The sea pig. This is definitely one of those creatures that you won't believe exists out there, but you'll have to see it for yourself. Think of it as a Charlotte's Web meets the Little Mermaid. So they call them sea pigs because of the way they walk down on the surface. They're not actually pigs, but they're sea cucumbers. They're also physiologically nothing like pigs. They have translucent, pink-tinged bodies. They also have several pairs of elongated tube feet. But this is why they're named after the pig. When you touch a sea cucumber, you'll feel soft, elongated, syndrilical bodies that are about four to six inches long. So no, they're not pigs but they sure do act like them. Barrel Eye You don't always have to see a creature that's combined with another one to be amazed. You also don't need to dig deep into history to find something today that exists which will blow your mind. There are plenty of animals out there breathing air right now or swimming through the water in this case. They even have scientists marveling. And one of those creatures that we want to shine a light on requires us to go underwater to find the Barrel Eye fish. It's definitely one of those aquatic creatures that stand out amongst the rest. Even next to a hammerhead shark, this fish takes the cake. Maybe the fish cake in this case. Honestly, this fish looks like it's something out of a sci-fi movie. It almost looks like some sort of military ship with kryptonite inside of it. But really, the barrel eye fish is deep sea spooky fish. It has this name because it has a barrel shaped eye and they're kept with lenses that are green. It also has a transparent head that fills with fluid that kind of makes it look like it's glowing in the dark. You won't be seeing this fish at your local pet store, but you will be remembering it after you see it. Gumboot Chitin You don't have to be a dentist to do a cool inspection of a creature whose mouth looks a little peculiar. We don't often pay attention to the teeth of an animal because we don't see them a lot. Usually, if you're about to see an animal's teeth, you should be running in the opposite direction but we promise you we're not going to send any animals after you for this next one on our list. We just want to talk about some mollusk teeth. They aren't anything that you're going to find in your local dentist's office, that's for sure. You'll find these out in the wild and you want to keep your hands close to you if you do see them because they're quite the teeth. What makes these teeth extraordinary because they have a rare mineral inside of them. It's a rare iron that's been discovered in the teeth of a living organism for the first time. Because of it, they call it the wandering meatloaf. Really, it's a mollusk that's called a chitin. Researchers were shocked to find this mineral in the tooth because usually they only find them in rocks. So there you have it. The next time you put a tooth under the pillow for the tooth fairy, maybe check for minerals. <coughs> Feather Star Now we end this list with a colorful one. Sometimes it's just amazing facts about an animal that can leave you breathless. And this Feather Star is no exception. It's pretty much the definition of exotic and we're going to take a look at it. They're called crinoids and they float freely through the ocean. This is why they're considered stars in a way. They're also pretty mesmerizing to watch as you can see in these videos. They're not only mesmerizing but they're curious creatures in and of themselves. They may look like starfish but they're not starfish. They're related to starfish and echinoids. These creatures are super old and they've been around for over 490 million years. It's crazy to think that the universe has been around that long, but it's even crazier to think that the universe has had a friend for that long as well. We'll take a look at these featherfish whenever we're down in the water. There you have it. Creatures of this world have left us amazed for centuries, and we're happy that we're able to find some that weren't too spooky, but spooky enough. You never quite know what you're going to find in this next world. You never quite know what you're going to find next in this world, whether it's a creature that combines two different animals or one that kind of resembles a sponge. We're sure that there will be plenty of creatures coming out of the darkness for us to investigate in the future, and we'll be bringing them all your way. So stay safe out there, because there could be a creature right behind you.